Hey everyone, it's me Megs and I'm back with another video y'all and this video is going to be about how I achieve this super sleek ponytail using clip-ins. Yes, clip-ins y'all and I was able to achieve this sleek, very flat ponytail using clip-ins and these clip-ins are by Better Length and these are the Light Yaki 18 inch clip-ins in the off black color. So I did wash and deep condition my hair and I let it air dry and so y'all know I have very blunt ends so we're gonna see how these clip-ins blend in with my hair without using heat. I did not want to flat iron my hair because these clip-ins are very very silky straight when I did wash and condition these clip-ins this is exactly how they air dried perfect so these are very low maintenance in my opinion you don't have to do too much but if you do notice that that there's like a little crinkle or something like that you can easily blow dry it out and it gets it right out so this is the off black color 1b and it matches my color pretty well because i had naturally have really dark hair so i was like ooh, cool these are going to work so the texture is very very soft i feel like the quality of this hair is really really nice as well and this set is double wefted so one set does complete a full installation on myself so you can flat iron this hair you can curl it you can dye it you can do pretty much everything you would do with you know your own hair with these clip-ins and what i really really love is that the weft is incredibly thin like it's so so thin so that's why i was excited to try out a ponytail using these clip-ins to see how flat they were gonna lay and I definitely was pleasantly surprised with how thin the weft is because it's going to give a really, really nice natural look. And the construction of the clip-in on the weft is really, really nice and neat. And that was really important for me. And the clips did not snag my hair. With this set, I am really like that the wefts are pretty long, which allows me to customize them a bit more. So what I decided to do is I want my wefts to have two clips on one weft to fit my hair. So you can see they have some really extra long ones here and I'm going to cut this into two here like this because I want two clips on one web to fit my head. Majority of my clip-ins I cut like this because I just know this is how they fit well on my head. So I'm going to cut these two like that. And I normally leave like the extra hair that doesn't have a clip that I cut off like that there. I'll just sew another clip on that and use it for a different area on my head. So make sure you keep that extra hair. Don't throw that away if you do find yourself having to cut some of the clip-ins. So I wanted to focus on having majority of my clip-in set to have the two clips on each weft. Because I'm going to focus this more so on the back half of my head for a really natural look. So I have quite a bit of clips now. Okay, so to install these clip-ins, I'm going to part my hair in half in the back, just straight across horizontally. And I'm gonna section off the top half and I'm gonna work on the bottom half first because I'm gonna place these clippings going forward towards my forehead. So I'm gonna place the clippings upside down, flip it over, and that's how I want the clippings to face because when I do my ponytail, it's gonna lay flat in the back. So all of these clippings are gonna go in one direction forward. And these are really easy to pop in. I feel like this is a very easy, low maintenance style that will be perfect for the summertime when you don't want to put too much heat on your hair. But of course, I did notice that with this texture, it was a bit straighter than my natural hair. And I would require um, having to put some heat on my hair, but I decided not to. But look, they will effortless, effortlessly blend if I were to flat iron my hair. So this half, I'm gonna move on to the top section and I'm gonna place these going downward. So in the regular direction that you would place clip-ins. 
So you just pop these in going this way downward. So this way, when you comb your hair into the ponytail, it will lay flat going in this direction. And they lay so flat, you guys. I love how flat these clippings lay. The weft is so thin. So I'm just going to continue parting small parts and placing the clippings going downward. So the bottom half was going upward and the top half is going down. So boom, all the clip-ins are installed and I focused majority of the clip-ins in the center part of my head and I do have some peekaboo hair of my hair poking out. Like I said, if I were to flat iron that, it would blend effortlessly. So I am going to fill in a few spots and I'm just going to use one clipper. Make sure you keep that extra hair because you can always sew a clip in on that. And I'm going to cut one more from one of the longer wefts that I have and another one. So in total, I cut an additional three clips that had one clip on there. And I'm going to put those near my, well, I'm going to put one near my nape area because I don't want to put it too far down where it starts to expose itself. So I want to make sure I have enough hair covering it. But I'm adding these in to add some extra fullness. And I'm going to put a few at the top. I'm going to put two in this section here. So one goes there. And I'm going to place another on the other side. Right beside it. Well, I took that out and, you know, made sure it was comfortable. <laughs> So then I'm going to comb everything together to see how everything looks and the color blends with my natural color amazing. It's really, really pretty. And what I would also highly suggest is that you layer your clip-ins if you're going to wear the ponytail like this to give it more of a natural look. And I wanted my, you know, sides to have like a wispy look so I took those out. But y'all, if you definitely layer these, it would look even more realistic but I didn't want to do that. But this was really easy to throw up into a ponytail. So to fix the choppiness, because I do have blunt cut ends, I am going to wrap my natural hair that's poking out around the base of my ponytail. Because I do not want to use heat on my hair right now. I'm trying to avoid using heat right now on my hair. So I'm going to continue to wrap my natural hair with a piece of the clip in here to wrap it around the base. But y'all imagine if I did flat iron my hair, it, the blend would be crazy. And these clippings were really easy to put in. In total, it took me about 10 minutes to put all of these in from start to finish. So I'm just going to wrap that around. And to cover the base for some razzle dazzle, I could actually leave it like that. But I'm going to put a little cute scrunchie around there just to, you know, jazz it up. I think scrunchies are really cute right now. They have definitely made a comeback. So if you have a scrunchie or something, that would be cute. Or you could leave it as is. So just to tame some flyaways and things like that and to help blend my hair in with the ponytail because I'm not using heat on my hair right now. I'm just going to use some hairspray and comb everything together. And this hair had no shedding. That is what I loved. I feel like this is one of the better quality clip-in sets that I've had from Better Length. Because one, it's very low maintenance. You don't have to use too much heat on the clip-ins itself. And the quality is really, really nice. So of course I want some wispy edges. I don't want my edges to be too, too perfect. So I'm gonna loosen up my edges and move them how I want them. And just put on a very small amount of edge control. And I do have an edge control review of the Kiss 
edge fixer down in the description below for you to check out because that's my favorite edge control right now it just really lays my edges how i like them so i'm just putting these how i want them on the sides and this is pretty much it y'all i really really love this hairstyle i am in love with these clip-ins i feel like these clip-ins will look beautiful crimped too so of course i'm gonna put some hairspray on my nape area just to clean everything up but yeah you guys these will be beautiful curled too and layered i highly suggest that if you were to try these clip-ins get them layered to have a more realistic look and i think i would have more of a realistic look with this ponytail if i layered them but of course i'm growing my hair out so i did not do that but i feel like these clip-ins look absolutely beautiful and very natural as is so I am in love with these clip-ins. I feel like these are the most easy, low-maintenance clip-ins to have. So these are definitely my favorite go-to clip-ins for the summertime when I want to be cute and pop some personality into my hair. And I absolutely love how flat these clip-ins are. Like, I feel like they're very undetectable at my, you know, ponytail base area. Like, you can't you can't even feel them they're very very lightweight as well so i definitely love these y'all i would definitely recommend these to you guys if you have any questions feel free to ask me and all information about these clip-ins is down in the description below and feel free to stick around and watch more of my better length clip-in tutorials here